Behold, the Hudson River. It's time for preaching to the choir ministries. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of uh, Preaching to the Choir Ministries. Guys, today I want to talk to you guys about how to die to atheism. But before we get to that, I want you guys to check out the skyline over here, here in Jersey City, looking at Liberty Island and Ellis Island and the Statue of Liberty. I'm doing this for a certain friend, you know who you are, who requested this uh, screenshot here. I'm also going to try to show you guys also uh, the Liberty, uh, the new Liberty Tower, where the, where, where the World Trade Center um, also stand as well, where it used to stand, where the World Trade Center used to stand anyway. So anyway, blabbering. Uh, guys, if you guys want to die to atheism, there's a couple of things that you guys need to do. Uh, first and foremost, you need to learn how to be intellectually honest with yourself. I'll let you guys see what's going on around the park and whatnot. You guys need to start being a little bit more intellectually honest with yourself. If you can't be honest with yourself, you're not going to be able to be honest with no Christian in a room about anything that we're debating about. You're not going to be able to be honest about evolution. I mean, how do you really feel about God? I mean, like, I mean, like what you really think about morality. you got to learn how to be um, intellectually honest with yourself. Okay? So, when you can be intellectually honest with yourself, then you can be in a, in, intellectually honest with other people. And your arguments will be more believable. And you won't sound like you're trying to duck and dodge people in their questions. So, the first thing that you got to do to die to your atheism is be intellectually honest. The second thing that you got to do is you have to take a step out of faith. Now, that shouldn't be too hard of a concept for you guys to understand, considering it takes a lot of faith to believe many of the things that you guys believe in evolution. Okay? There are some things that you guys say about evolution that's factual, and I can't argue against. But then there's a lot of things that you guys believe that takes a whole lot of faith to believe in. And the fact of the matter is, if you can have the faith to believe that a singularity expanded over billions of years to create the universe, if you can believe, guys, that you're related to dates, oranges, and watermelons, and coconuts, then you can take a step out in faith to believe that God exists, to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the Living God, or to just believe in theism in general. Here's the thing, a lot of you hate God. You won't admit it because if you do, then you're recognizing theism. But many of you will say, how can I hate something that doesn't exist? Well, a lot of you will say, why well, I hate God the way I hate Darth Vader in Star Wars. Okay? But the fact of the matter is, the way you guys argue, the tonality that you guys use about some of the things that you guys see in the Bible, notice this, you don't blame Moses, you don't blame the Israelites, you don't blame the Edomites, you don't, you don't um, blame the Amorites, you don't blame any of those guys for anything. You don't talk about how they were throwing babies into the fire, you defend those people as if they should have never been punished. You guys, you guys, instead of talking about rapists in the Bible and the people who actually committed the offense, you blame God for all of it instead of actually acknowledging the person who committed the offense. To you guys, God is guilty of everything. He is your ultimate scapegoat, and you guys don't want to deal with uh, human responsibility because you want to defend humanity no matter what humanity does. So guys, if you want to die to atheism, you have to be intellectually honest with yourself. You have to take a step out in faith and actually believe that God exists and put some of the things that you see in the Bible to the test don't understand something, get a Bible teacher, uh, find a brother in the Lord uh, in Christianity or something like that, and, 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 and ask them some tough questions. You know what I mean? Assume that theism is true, just for a little while, long enough to put it to the test, because I know a lot of you have not done it. You guys coming in a room talking about, some, oh, I read the Bible 25 times in my lifetime, and uh, you don't even know what the heck some books are saying. All you can do is quote mine and quote what you read in evilbible.com or what some popular atheist said. And that's just the truth, guys. So for those of you who, who have spoken to Matt Slick and have been utterly embarrassed, okay, utterly embarrassed, because you know, and, and by the way, the reason why you show that you're embarrassed is because you want to admit that you're an atheist when you talk to Matt Slick. 
Some of you are starting to do that in my room. You won't even admit that you're an atheist in my room because you know the negative things that come with it. And guys, the reason why you guys are embarrassed mainly is because of guys like J.D. Kane and Alex Botton. I mean, seriously, if you guys would stop looking at those guys and bowing down at the altar of these guys and call them out for their baloney, you can actually save face for atheism. You know, a lot of you know what I'm talking about. It's a good thing that we do have some atheists on YouTube who do stand up for, who tries to stand up for some truth and will call out other atheists when they are wrong. Some of those atheists are Redline, Galaxy Dreams, uh, hopefully she's not an atheist somewhere, she hasn't been on YouTube for a while. Eve has been one of these people. Uh, uh, Mark, you know, Mark you Noah and some other people have been brave enough to call out other atheists when they have been wrong about something. But guys like Alex Biden and J.D. Kane can't be taken seriously. But anyway, I'm ranting right now. Guys, if you want to die to atheism, start being more honest with yourself so you can be honest with other people. Take a step out of faith and you'll find out very quickly that all of this was not started by some accident by some little energy ball that miraculously just expanded over billions of years. You guys are not related to grass, okay? You're not related to this stuff. Stop lying to yourself. Okay, I don't know where I cut off at. <laughs> but you're not related to grass, to those dead bushes over there. You're not, really, you're not related to those barks over there. You're not related to the Statue of Liberty or the ocean over there. Or those airplanes, or your dates and your walnuts and the food that you have in your cabinet. You are, distinctive, you are distinctively different from the other things in this world. Build yourself up and remind yourself about this. Stop buying into the lies of atheism. Remember, be intellectually honest with yourself so you can be honest with other people. Uh, be, on, be honest with the people that you're talking to. Maybe you'll be a little more convincing in, in, in conversation if you do that. Then... Take a, take a step out in faith. Alright? Believe that God exists. Put him to the test after you do it. And until next time, guys, it's been another edition of uh, Preaching to the Choir Ministries. Read your Bible and do what it says. God bless.